Hey everybody, welcome back around to the blog and grill. I am your host Doug here with your video blog for October 12th, 2015. Great blog plan for you today. Not what we had scheduled, but there's a lot of stuff to get to today. So we're going to go around the shield. We'll also give you an update with some Major League Baseball scores. But we also have two big stories. The Chase Utley hard slide that broke Ruben Tejada's leg. But the first thing we need to talk about is Steve Sarkeesian. We're just in a couple of hours ago. Steve Sarkeesian has been fired by Athletic Director Pat Hayden following his leave of absence yesterday for a potential or alleged drinking problem. He's gone to a treatment facility, and Steve Sarkeesian is now out as the head coach of the USC Trojans. And this is big news. This started to marinate over the weekend. And my big thing with these kind of stories is I like to give them 24 hours. I like to see what comes out in those 24 hours, process it, and then come to you with what I can come up with as my take on it. I like to give it a little time, like to let it marinate, get a lot of takes from other people, and then I like to bring it to you as what I have, what I feel about it, how I feel about it. And this is a very interesting story. We've had the timeline of this building up. We had the issues with Steve Sarkeesian um, in August at the Boosters meeting when he was up on stage with slurred speech. We also had more coming out about that as well as after that he said he was mixing prescription drugs and alcohol that night and it was a mistake. He said on the Ryan Rosillo and Danny Canal show on ESPN radio that he did not have a drinking problem. He would go to a treatment facility, but he didn't need to go to that. Okay. So just a lot of stuff really coming out about Steve Sarkeesian and really what it comes down to with this is I believe Pat Hayden had to fire Steve Sarkeesian. USC just has to, you have to remember, USC has just come off sanctions from the Reggie Bush scandal with the Heisman Trophy. All the way back to that point, they were having problems with Pete Carroll. So now they're, they're under the microscope of the, net, of the NC2A, NCAA. They're under the microscope, and they need to try to stay clean in their program. And really what it came down to was Steve Sarkeesian was not being a good enough coach. 12-6, and six, allegedly coached the Arizona, Arizona State game drunk and showed up to practice on Sunday morning drunk, and that is when he was sent out of the facility. Clay Helton will be the interim head coach. But really what this comes down to is Steve Sarkeesian will not coach again in college football for quite a while. I would be surprised if he gets another job. He's going to have to build himself back up. But I do think he will get a job because we've seen guys like Bobby Petrino get a job and coach, and we've seen them have success. So I still think Steve Sarkeesian can have some success. I'm not even going to get into the whole Washington Huskies rumors that he had a drinking problem in Washington. We've seen the bar tabs of him running it up with 50 up upwards of 50 shots of tequila with his assistant coaches. And all this stuff just comes out now because they have a reason for it to come out. Sarkeesian's out as the head coach. He's shown that he has an issue with alcohol, and now he's out. And I think the big question is what? What does this mean for Sarkeesian's future? And also, what is this going to mean for the next USC head coach? At Right now, USC, this football team is in turmoil. They were supposed to be a very good football team. Cody Kessler, I think, is a first-round draft pick at, quarter, at the quarterback position. But they've gone now through three coaches in the past two-plus years, with Ed Orgeron being the interim, Steve Sarkeesian, and then before that was Lane Kiffin. So this team has been in turmoil. They're struggling. And really what this comes down to is Steve Sarkeesian needs to get right, and Pat Hayden made the right move by getting Steve Sarkeesian out of there while he could before the NCAA had to step in. The other big story of the weekend, Chase Utley sliding hard into second blade into second base, breaks Ruben Tejada's leg. He didn't even really slide into second base. He was even with second base, got into a slide, and broke Ruben Tejada's leg. And I, yes, I do think it was a dirty play, but there's no need. A lot of people are calling for a rule change. There's no need for a rule change, okay? This is a knee-jerk reaction. It's very similar to the Buster Posey incident. But the issue, but the difference in the Buster Posey situation when he got destroyed at home plate, and this situation is there's already a rule. Chase Utley should have been called out on interference. He was out of the base path, slid after the base, and took out a player. He was not going for the base. The play was already made. He slid in late and took him out. 
So what needs to be done is there needs to be these umpires. We see the second base umpire standing right there watching the play, doesn't say anything. We need the umpires to step up and start making these calls in order to protect, protect these players that need to be protected because you're a second baseman. Your legs are right there. You're going to get taken out. Ruben Tejada is a shortstop. Shortstop, second baseman, same deal. You're right there. You're getting taken out hard. Utley breaks Tejada's leg. Utley should sit for the next two games. I think that's important for him to sit, and I think suspension should come in, and I think suspension should start at five games for this type of multiple offense. Okay, If this happens multiple times, I think this should be a suspension deal. Chase Utley has been known to do this before. We've seen him do it with Ryan Terrio. We've seen him do it with Marco Scudero. So Chase Utley has done this before. He slides late, slides wide, and takes guys out. And Chase Utley needs to sit for a game, I think. At least one, maybe two games. We'll see what happens. But it was a dirty play, and Ruben Tejada's out now. And th basically what needs to be done here is umpires need to start making the calls like they should be. All right, let's go around the shield today. Um, picks for the weekend: three and two, pretty solid. Um, finished at eight and seven. I'm at eight and seven right now through the first five weeks in the NFL season. So let's get to it now, right here with our around the shield. Bears get back to two and three after Jamal Charles leaves with a knee injury. Jay Cutler throws a late touchdown pass as the Bears beat the Chiefs eighteen to seventeen. Cincinnati improves to 5-0. They score 17 unanswered in the fourth quarter, 3 in overtime. Andy Dalton leads the Bengals back for a legitimate win. Bengals over the Seahawks 27-24. Falcons get a pick six in overtime as they beat the Redskins 25-19. Jags and Bucks go back and forth. Blake Bortles four touchdown passes, but it isn't enough as Doug Martin rushes for two touchdowns. Buccaneers beat the Jaguars 38-31. DeMarco Murray starts to get on track with 20 carries for 38 yards and a touchdown as the Eagles beat the Saints 39-17. They're 2-3, getting right back into that division race. Josh McCown leads the Browns back 14 points in the fourth quarter. He throws for 457 and two touchdowns. Browns beat the Ravens. Browns are now 2-3 as they beat the Ravens 33-30. Packers, Aaron Rodgers throws his first pick at home in over two years, but the Packers still get it done. They beat the Rams 24-10. Bills hold off a late charge by the Titans. Marcus Mariota not very good. Tyrod Taylor struggles to throw the ball as well. Bills beat the Titans 14-13. Cardinals all over the Lions 42-17. Matthew Stafford gets benched, and Chris Johnson rushes for another 100 yards. Greg Hardy has, makes his debut for the Cowboys, but Tom Brady continues to play well. Patriots beat the Cowboys 30-6. Peyton Manning throws two more picks as he continues to struggle to throw the ball. Broncos, though, beat the Raiders 16-10. And in Sunday Night Football, Giants beating the 49ers 30-27. Late touchdown by Larry Donnell from Eli Manning. That is your Around the Shield. Now it's time to look at some Major League Baseball scores before we get out of here. Um, early games today in the ALDS. Kansas City coming back from down 6-2 to, to score. A lot of runs late. They beat the Astros 9-6. to six. That series is tied up at 2. Game 5 back in Kansas City on Wednesday. And Toronto forces a Game 5 with an 8-4 win over the Rangers. They'll play Game 5 in Toronto on Wednesday. Cubs right now are 7-4 over the Cardinals, and the Mets and Dodgers are just about getting ready to start Game four, game 3. All right, I'll be back on Thursday. We will talk studs and duds from the NFL Week 5. We'll also have your college football rankings, and we'll give you an update on NASCAR's Chase for the Cup. You can follow me on Twitter at YankeeBaller415. You can also check me out on SportsMindAndNews.com. You can comment, question, subscribe to my page. Thanks for tuning into the Blog and Grill. I will see you back here on Thursday. Have a great week.